you might sometimes hear photographers talking about a stop of light. This is basically just a unit of light. If you lower your settings to reduce the exposure by one stop of light, you're basically halving the amount of light you let into your camera. If you raise your settings to increase your exposure by one stop of light, you're basically doubling the amount of light you let into your camera. It's actually a really good way of describing how you want to change the amount of light that you let into your camera. It doesn't matter what settings you're at or how bright or dark the shot is, you can either say you need to increase or decrease the shot by one stop of light. Once you understand the principles of it, you'll know exactly how you need to change your settings to get this. Your exposure basically works on a logarithmic scale. So if you increase it by one stop, you're doubling the amount of light. And then if you increase it by two stops, you're quadrupling the amount of light. There are three main settings to change if you want to change the exposure of your camera. This is aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. If you want to know when to change what, click on the eye in the corner or the link in the description. This will take you to another of my videos explaining this. You might also notice that ND filters are sometimes called, say, a three-stop filter, a five-stop filter, or a 10-stop filter. This is just basically describing to you how much light they stop getting into your camera. Say for instance, you're taking a photograph with a three-stop filter on. You'd have to drop your settings by three stops to get the same exposure as you would without the ND filter. And just for example, if you used a 10 stop filter, this would actually reduce the amount of light by 1024 times. So say if you had your settings and to get a good exposure, you had a shutter speed of one 1,000th of a second. With a 10 stop filter, you'd be able to reduce this to one second. So all you need to remember is a stop of light is a unit of light. When you increase it, it doubles the amount of light let into your camera. When you drop it by one stop of light, you half the amount of light getting into your camera. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications. And also head over to my channel where I have lots of different photography tutorials. I'll see you next time.